Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Monster Train. Daddy needs a win. We need a win. It's been a couple minutes. We need a win. Uh, we're going with this new Umbra clan, which looks amazing. That's so sick, actually. Uh, in terms of an allied clan, we could go with something we kind of know. Maybe some tanky boys, just in case. Where are we at on leveling? Yeah, these guys are like the highest. Commune with the ancient Umbra Shroud, the original residence of Hellmine, the crucible for precious materials to help in the fight against Seraph. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. What could go wrong? Seraph, devour your spells. You better bring more of them if you hope to succeed. Okay, so don't go with spells, I guess. Apply rage to an ember drain too. To a friendly unit. Don't love that. Excavation eruption cost of four. Deal 20 damage to a random enemy unit four times. If you slay, you get two energy. So I can't even play this. <laughs> okay, let's let's begin. First of all, let's see what this champion is like. So 1515, Gorge is a new mechanic. So triggers when this unit eats a morsel unit. I don't know, I have a clue what gorging or morsels are. So that's cool. Summon. When we play this, we get plus two capacity on this floor. I just don't know what's a morsel unit. Add a common or uncommon morsel unit to your hand. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, okay. I mean, this is the easy one. They eat a morsel unit. So you're eating one of your own units? Common or uncommon morsel unit. All right, fine. Let's let's see. Let's see. Friendly unit enter with lifesteal of two. Very nice. Very nice. You play the third card of your hand, draw two. Take lifesteal, thanks. Yeah. Restores health equal to the damage dealt. And if we enter with lifesteal 2, does that mean we're healing? Well, we'll have to see. Start a battle. Enemy units appear on each floor. Let's try it. Okay. Well, this is problematic. Let's see what this gives us. And Tumbra Morsel. Eaten, Eater gains three health. If we put him up here, then he will survive. But he'll only be able to kill one of these anyway. I just don't know how to, like... How do I get him to eat this? This unit is eaten by the front non-morsel unit after the next round of combat. Okay. So he eats behind. Wow. Okay. 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 This is trippy. <laughs> this is really trippy. Eaten by the front non-morsel unit. Well, the thing is, is he's going to die now. He's going to die now because I didn't know how that worked. And I can't put this guy in front. Well, this is brutal. This is brutal. If I go here, I can't even put razor sharp edge on because then we die here as well. Oh, this is this is a pretty terrible way to open. Maybe I do this. After the next round of combat. Yikes. Okay. Very trippy. Uh -oh. 
Okay, so these guys, I guess, can eat them as well. Let's go here. Eater gains plus one in damage shield. I put this guy in front. That's 12. We can at least survive this, and then this one's going to get eaten, I guess, and this is where the plus three comes from. Yeah, this is so bizarre. Let's put this one here. Our pyre's getting hurt, but... What are you going to do? What are you going to do? We're gonna take we're gonna take a ton of power damage. That's what we're gonna do. This is just a whole different whole different vibe. Whole different vibe. Put this one here. And then, do we want to do Ember Drain? For the Rage? It's not even going to matter, really. He's going to get the plus attack. And then next turn, I don't know what we're going to be able to play. So I don't really want to... Well... Okay, so this would be good if you play it at the beginning of your turn, I guess, with, like, a full hand. But we're just gonna have to let our pyre carry us this round. So we do have one damage block here. Let's put this in this spot. Eaten, gain one energy. Try to put somebody in front of that, I guess. Put some regen on. And then that healing, yeah, see that kind of negates all of our all of our attacks there. But I don't have a way to I don't have a way to, to even get there. This is so weird. Gain an energy, sure. Like, I just have no clue what we would even do here. I think now we put this in front. 77 there at least. And then I, I'll go with like double enhancing in the back here. So we at least kill this guy. This one will live. I mean, what else can you do in that scenario? I'm not sure. Adds three uncommon or rare morsel units to your hand. Okay, so this is like the whole thing is you're just eating your other units. Three times damage to an enemy unit, slay, gain energy, or consume and apply one times damage shield. I guess we'll take morsels. Uh, maybe a vine grasp here to move somebody to the front. It's also targeted. We really need a, uh, we need a big boy in the front right now. Go here for gold, but I think we need a unit too. Ooh, okay, okay. So they have some tanky guys. So when they gorge, they get extra life steal. 
And when they gorge, they get damage shield, which nullifies the next source of damage. That's actually really good. But the lifesteal... Yeah, I don't know. If you can keep gorging, keep gorging, keep gorging, and just stack these damage shields, that could work. You just got to keep this guy alive at the beginning. Let's go for it. Multi-strike unit. Um... Maybe this guy. I actually think here. Let's do this. So let's make him a little bit tankier. And then we'll go multi-strike. And if we get an op option to, like, duplicate a card, then that's a pretty decent option for us. I like this. Okay. Barb Disciples. Spikes a three. Uh, let's just... No. Not, not right now. I need to simplify. I need to simplify. Okay. So we get these guys in. Now, who do you want to give the gorge to? That's the question, because they have to be in front. The unit is eaten by the front non-morsel unit. So who do we give this to? The plus three, plus one, or the damage shield? With multi-strike. This one gives us, obviously, uh, uh, more attack the more we feed it. I'm going to go with this for now. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then that fills up our slot anyways. Man. Okay. This is just a weird way for me to be thinking. I'll put this dude up here. We'll get the hang of it. We'll get the hang of it. We'll get the hang of it. You can gain one. We'll give it to this guy. Train steward up top to get the gold. And then the only way I could... I guess the way I would play this is I have to do Perils of Production, then this one. But that only gets me that immediate energy. So yeah, that, would, that was a good combo to use, but against these enemies, I don't think it's that important. Let's enhance here. Lifesteal... Okay, how much damage are we getting in here? Minus 153 is pretty nice. These we can use to feed somewhere. Feed that top unit, I guess. If I go Rage 2 here... Minus 159... Okay. So I'm going to go damage shields. And a plus one. Or a plus three. To make this guy big. Might as well put one here too. Guy needs to take more damage, but... Hmm. Guess we go here. He's hitting for seven, and he this one's hitting for one. So if I apply this, then they both kill. We kind of need him to stay like this, but we do have damage block actually. We might be able to pull this off. Okay. 
Okay, so now in our last hand... Oh. Oh, that's right. What was I thinking there? I wasn't thinking correctly. Oh, yeah. No, the damage block. We're still getting in the 24. So let's put this on. That kills him. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Now, if I move this guy to the front... I think that would be useless. Let's do this, though. Move him to the front. Then we use an attack on that. I'm just trying to figure out if we... Because this one comes up. Attacks. It's blocked. He attacks. It's blocked. Then we attack. I'm just trying to see if I'm going to screw... Uh, yeah, I better leave it. We only need to kill the boss, so like, yeah. Let's not get fancy. Okay, more morsels. Consume, you get energy on this floor. Once per battle. Or sorry, space on this floor. Rage 2, Ember Drain. Do I need more of these? I guess, like the whole thing is feeding these guys, right? I'll take the Glimmer, actually, to get two damage to all enemy units. Whew! Okay. Artifact and Awoken unit? Yes, please. So, this guy can get up there in terms of health, but we don't have any big healing skills. I think for now we're going to take the Husk Permit for some tank. Spells get an extra upgrade. Apply days to enemy units when they enter the pyre room and your pyre gets minus five, which means they skip one of their attacks. I'm feeling like we're not going to have a lot of gold. Plus, uh, we don't really want to go into spells because of Seraph the Diligent. So let's take this one. A fissure in the ice forces the bone shaker to stop. It's unstable. How do you approach the ice fissure? <laughs> okay. So it seems like we're, we don't have any negatives for these. Um, it does say that it can have unusual side effects, but people in the Discord were saying that they hadn't noticed any when they were playing. Um, what would I want five of? Like, probably this guy, right? We've got multi strike. On Gorge, we get damage shields. Is that too many, though? That's the thing. That's the thing. Nice thing is it's low cost. It only costs two spots as well. Okay. Unstable but strong. I still don't get what they're insinuating there. Because you... I feel like what should happen is a percentage of the time... That card is getting... Uh, okay, these explode twice. That card's getting changed in some way. Okay. So this is going to attack twice. There's nothing I can do about that right now. We're just going to leave it. Don't care. And then I think we go Crucible Warden up front. We'll go Penumbra in behind. And I may, I may end up changing how I do this. We might want to end up putting this guy in front and feeding him. But the problem is, is space. We should get some after this, after this part. But um, yeah. Okay, so these guys are gonna die. This guy lives, which is okay. But we're gonna heal everything. I rage two and ember drain two to a friendly unit. I don't want to take the Ember Drain. I feel like with that Life Steal, we should be pretty good. Okay, so now we're going to get double, um, double stacking of the damage block. And actually, do I even want to play these Train Stewards? Not really. Not really at all. We'll go here to get the regen. OK. 
Okay. This thing. I think I want to move him to the front. Oh, no. That, it's, I forgot. So on the later levels, I think they're a little bit tankier. I think I'm going to actually stack this guy. Make him really strong. And then maybe I'll do... Let's put these two up top for now. I'm going to save this for morsels, which have to be coming soon. Okay, haste could be a problem. They're all going to die anyway, so... Not really an issue. Nice. Plus three attack. So he's going to eat all of this. Our life steal's gone. Hmm. Let's go here. That's a bunch of damage stacking. Here's a decently sized boy in front. Eater gains health here. That's actually great. These guys... Oh, this guy's gonna live. Give lifesteal back down here on the next... Oh, I can't. There's no space. Put it up top. No space for these guys. Okay. So he... He hurts. We can do... Can we get him up to nine? That's the question doesn't look like it so he's gonna die and we're not gonna deal any damage there that really blows hmm okay let's just try and get this guy healed up we can gain an extra energy on the next round And we'll kill here. With the seven damage shields. <laughs> that's actually... That's insane. Yeah, okay. So this is this is how we're going to win with these cards. We need to just feed these Crucible Wardens that we've upgraded. Uh, this will be more damage. Yeah, we need to feed those guys and build up that damage block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the play. Okay, apply quick, consume, kill a morsel unit, trigger eaten and gorge abilities as if it had been eaten 2x times, and you kill it on command. Well, that's interesting. 30x damage to the front enemy unit, that's 90 possible. It's actually gonna, well, I think we're gonna take capacity, right? I think we're taking capacity on this one. It's 90 damage for now, possible. But eaten and gorge with um with the damage block could be really nice. Morsel maker. Okay, look at all these. Over gorger, gorge plus two permanently. Permanently. Whoa. Resolve. So after combat, summon an Antumbra Morsel and Magma Morsel in this room. Okay. And that gives health. One gives health and one gives attack. 
or we go with the t another tanky boy, but I don't think we need this. I think we go with those other guys. Uh, I'm going to actually take... I'm going to take this one. Okay. Let's see if we can get this going. So, do we need pyre health? Yeah, a little bit. We could uh, duplicate another card. Maybe the Morsel Maker. Uh, we can also ditch some cards. Let's go here and get rid of a couple of things. I really, I'm not seeing the huge benefit of this unless it's late. But I guess we'll ditch our train stewards first. They can at least get morsel buffs, but... If I duplicate this, it's like, okay. That's, maybe that's taking the joke a little bit too far. Because with... Let's see. With six capacity on each floor, we could put three of these guys on each floor. Eh. It's not so bad. But then we don't have space for any of these other guys, right? We want to have space for the morsels. So we put these two plus, like, this guy and another morsel. We have space now with the penumbra and these guys. But what do we what do we want to duplicate? It's a tough call because these are the ones that we've buffed, so Naturally, that feels a little bit better. I, maybe I'll double the, the Morsel Maker right now. Oh. Alright, so we go on Gorge, plus 6 and plus 2, or Trample. I like Trample a lot. It's been used against us pretty effectively. Once or twice. Uh, but this takes up four slots now. Which means that I couldn't put it with other... Um, with a with a tankier frontline unit. But if I do put it with a frontline unit, then it's not really even gaining the benefits of Gorge anyways. Let's try it. You can sit in front. We'll try to work it like that. Okay, multi-strike for a random artifact. It's not bad because we can kind of deal with stuff like via lifesteal. And he casts a spell, gains armor. Let's try. Okay. So right away, we noticed we did not get... Wait, what is this? 6 times 2, so 12 plus 8 is 20, which is all of his health. Okay. Maybe what we'll do... Do something like this. Actually, no. We're not, let's not fill that. We're going to kill one off, so let's go trample on this floor. And my train stewards, I think I'll hold for right now. Okay, let's get the morsels in. Plus three, plus two in lifesteal, plus five and plus five. Now, do we want to go damage block or focus on this one? Let's give him another lifesteal boost. Plus five, plus five is good there. We'll put you up top, get the gold. Damage shield will stack there. And plus three attack. Okay.
There's all the damage shields triggering. Okay. This is such a cool looking unit. Holy crap. I love it. Let's feed him. Just get a ton of uh, damage shield down there. If I put this guy up top, that means we can't feed any of these guys for damage shield. go here for the plus four. We'll feed you. Do a little bit of extra healing. Clear out this guy. Can I take the Ember Drain now? Sure. All this damage shield. Holy smokes. Okay. Finally, these guys, but now we don't have the Ember, of course. This is exceptional. I think we keep these guys. I'm going to go here because we'll probably just feed these other floors. All that damage shield gone. In that scenario, I might have wanted to just throw somebody in front, but... Ooh. So if I do this, then I go Shroud Spike. Oh, that's, we're only getting the, the times two here. Still better than nothing. Better than much else that I can do in this scenario. Just damage. Damage block. Okay. So we are nullifying some damage. Let's do this. Plus eight, minus two. He's hitting for 12. But either way. I might as well do this. And then I should also just throw this guy in the back. 356, that's pretty good. Okay. Minus 65 here. I can get him over the 24 mark. So we get extra damage in. It's too bad I couldn't use this Morsel Maker this whole round, but... I think we'll do this. And actually, if we put him in front, we kill. Cool. Chomp. You're damn right. Exploding fungus. Be awesome. Regen restores plus one health per stack. Ah. All right. Apply damage shield to rage six and ember drain three. Apply damage shield one. Add two uncommon morsel or rare morsel units to your hand. Yes. That kind of goes with what we got going on. Descend a unit could actually be really beneficial. That could work. Okay. Gaining new powers. All of our big guys are already full. Let's go and clean up our deck a little bit. We're going to get rid of our last two train stewards. Check the caverns. 
Then we'll go back for the other upgrade. Grant you something later on. Okay, hold on a second here. While you could take the protrusion, removing some of the ember deposits and hauling them from the area would help to eventually revive them with some power, granting you something later on. Calcified ember now. Upgraded versions later. Plus one energy per turn for every two blight cards in your deck. Uh, well, we only have one. <laughs> so... I guess, okay, we get two of the Vengeful Sards. Okay, interesting. So, okay. This would give us... This would give us plus two energy per turn. Or we just take these for the time being, get upgraded versions. I think we've seen these where they do a bunch of damage. For every two in your deck. I'm going to take this. So we're going to get basically plus one energy or ember right now. The way I'm looking at that. And if we get like another one down the road. Remove consume. Maybe one of these guys. Maybe this one. Does increase the cost. <laughs> Plus 10 magic power here. Thirteen damage to a backline unit isn't bad. Or this. I mean, that's a lot of damage across the board. I think I'll take this one and reduce it. And removing consume. This isn't X minus one then if I use it. Maybe we'll do this. Okay, the deck is about as big as I'd like to have it, I think. If I can avoid going any higher, that would be great. So this guy would get sweep of nine. And on slay gets rage. This guy would get six and two. With our guys, I think that's fine. Okay. So how do we start this? We're going to start building the damage block here. Oh, he's going to die. That ain't good. Never mind. I didn't realize he had the... Uh, I didn't realize he had sweep. That's, that's an oops. Okay, Morsel Maker. Yes. Actually... Here, I think, would be better. He's got 11 sweep, though. Frick. Can I kill this guy? I have to play this. Hold on. If I just take one, it's not the end of the world. This guy only has five. Okay, so here's what I think I'm going to do. Ah, oh, this, this won't help me either, though. Let's hope that this works. Okay. 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 <laughs> that did work. I didn't know that it would bounce after it kills one. I thought it would just keep hitting it until it dies.
Let's go spear. Double damage shield. That guy's going to fill his floor. This one doesn't really matter. Yeah, this uh, faction turns you upside down, man. Turns you upside down. Okay, so what's in here? Eater gains plus three attack. Plus three hearts. Hmm. I could morsel make her here. Go damage shield in this spot. All right, I'm good with that for now. Oh, this sweep is screwing us. Because he's going to kill my morsel maker, man. Why would he do that? He's going to kill my morsel maker. This will be six extra, but... We'll go lifesteal. We're still going to have him alive, but... Put that on. I don't think there's any way I could have killed him with the cards that we have. Okay, so what's our damage shield at here right now? Three. It's going to go to five. I actually think I'm going to descend this guy. Do this. Kill this unit. Okay, there we go. Right off the bat. Excellent. Yeah, and that sweep too. So we have to watch for that because... That seems to be like the scary part of um, of our uh, deck. Because enemies with sweep just clear up all those morsels. If we can get a champion upgrade where they get damage block, then we'd be laughing. Plus one on this floor. Damage shield. I like that one. Damage shield to all units. Cost four. It's expensive. I think I'm going to skip. Deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to the number of spikes. Consume, draw three, draw one each turn. We are kind of space limited already. I'm just going to take the gold. Okay, now. If I go Vortex. What I remove? These Blights we want to keep. I don't know if there's anything I want to duplicate now. 
that pretty much answers that question. X cards get plus three. Apply rooted to enemy units when they enter the room below the pyre. I mean, that makes this one pretty good no matter when we use it. And we're not seeing any problems with people getting to the top right now. The boss is immune anyway. Let's take that. We don't get a ton of benefit, but... Ooh, holdover. Okay, what's something that we could play every single turn without fail? Um... I guess maybe Grovel. It costs two, but we are getting... We do have four Ember per turn right now. <laughs> and actually, let's put let's put this on Grovel as well. There we go. Anything I want to give 10 to? 22 damage across the board isn't bad. <laughs> maybe this is the one I should have done it with. But if I do this... Yeah, let's go here. Let's go here. That's a lot of damage for the cost. Okay, we're on six. Fell. Add Scourge cards. Lovely. Well, that sucks, because that's got to go straight away. I'm going to start her, uh, the Penumbra, on the second floor, so that if we descend, we can throw it down. Let's go here. We don't even have a Morsel unit, unfortunately. Do I want Sweep on this floor? Or do I want more of these guys? I think I want more of these guys. It's unfortunate. That's a rough time to draw that, because now we're not going to see it for a while. Let's get some morsels in. Plus two and lifesteal. That's assuming this doesn't... These attacks don't go to the back. Uh, which... Let's see. It's going to tank those. We'll do this. And like so. sucks. Okay, so I think we'll take the three here and try to get uh, a Morsel Maker in. If I put him in, we're only going to have space for one Morsel to be created, but that's going to be the same in any spot, so... If I lose by three, I'm going to be sad. Could go another Morsel Maker here. Health. Well, we're going to lose eight there. We're going to lose a bunch here, too. This one's already full. We'll do this. Build some damage shield up top.
sucks to do it, but that's what I got to do. Do I want to save more morsel spots here? Because otherwise, next turn, we're going to nullify that. Uh... If I play this, we can actually do the... Uh... We can we can put our champion below. Put it here with the multi strike, and we get the heal there. These guys die, but actually we can even put this guy in. We should be fine with the life steal. Yeah, cool. Now, though, our guy... I'm interested to see if it takes up those base slots. Like, if we're still gonna... Yeah, okay, so we're still throwing more of these dudes in, it looks like. That's nice. I'm gonna take 33 over here. I can't afford to do this. Here's my holdover. Definitely want to play that. We can eat there. We can eat here. And we can kill a unit. We're going to take some fire damage there. Oh, right. They got that's right. They go dazed up there. Where is that? Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, well, we're going to take some damage. I would like to do this one. I don't have any more, very many morsel slots anyway. I'm just going to try to mitigate the amount of damage our pyre takes. Final wave. I think she should... Yeah, very close. Very close to dying right there. Uh, this is only one. Let's attack twice. I feel like if we get this in the back, though. 901. 965. And then do we take this? 971. Oh, that's right. And then we get more energy. Do this, get the extra regen. I just don't know if we're gonna have enough damage. It's gonna be ah, we should be I think we should be fine actually. 163? Yeah, we're good. Get rid of these. Now, compared to previous decks, well, A, we don't have a lot of cards unlocked for these guys. Um, and B, uh, we... This is a whole new technique that's just, like, mind-boggling to me. Okay, so we're at four Ember right now. Five cards, six slots. You know what? I'm actually... I actually think we're going to take more slots. Plus ten in spikes. Quick. I mean, it's okay. 30 damage to the front enemy unit. This is not going to be good against the boss because it consumes our spells or devours our spells. But let's, let's just take it for other stuff. And then space for morsels. Okay, so we're only four down there. Oh, trinkets, though. Trinkets and baubles. Because otherwise, what am I going to upgrade? Not our Crucibles. Uh, maybe our Morsel Maker? But, like, they kind of just do their job. They could be cheaper, I guess. Maybe this is where we could turn those other cards into better ones. We've got 520 right now. You know what? I'm going to go here for the Trinkets. Let me see if there's anything I could consider getting rid of. 
Perils of production. Like, this has come through in a couple of nice scenarios, I suppose. And we want to keep the blights for the extra ember. Hmm. Maybe we just don't vortex anything. What's our champion upgrade? Monstrous. Trample. Gorge gets plus three, plus one, but then takes up five slots. We do have seven. Oh, man. That's kind of crazy. Five slots? I mean, this is really good if we can descend it. If we can get a descend on that, then I'm happy. Come on, trinkets. Sting, no. Armor, maybe. Oh, split anvil. And you play spells. Now, okay. So this would be good for when we play this. Uh, what other spells? Restoring retreat. This one. I love that anvil. I'm a sucker for the anvil. 15 armor. Each battle. Let's re-roll. Units cost minus two. So these guys all of a sudden become free. And our morsel makers are free. And I'm not so concerned about consume cards. Let's go. Okay. Enemy units on each floor for 400 coins. Yeah, okay. We'll fight from the top. Okay, so. He can pretty much kill this entire floor or this entire floor. In just one, his one attack with Trample, right? We'll, we'll put a Morsel uh, Maker behind him, I think. Eight times two plus one. Grant multi-strike. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, no. I meant to... I wanted to play him up here. Ah, oh, frick. Okay, well, we're going to take... We're going to take 15. Ah, oh, that was... That was unfortunate. My bad. My bad. That's, uh, whoops. Oh, yeah, we get the days, though. Okay. That yeah, could have been... Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Well, this is nice, because... Uh, how do we do this? I wish I could specify how much I wanted to spend on this. Because if I descend him... Well, I guess I could put it here. But if I just descend him right now, then uh, we don't really get the benefit. I think we want to save this and hope that it comes up again later. The other option is to descend him and then put this one in and do a big consume for like an insane amount of damage shield. Maybe that's what we'll do. And then this one's doing health. And this one's doing attack. Let's do attack. And then he should get all the the damage shield as well. Yeah, not bad, I'd say. Not bad. This guy will live. Let's get the gold here.
Wish I had more, like, directly targeted spells, but we don't want to have a bunch of spells because of the boss. All right. Those guys are gone. Gone. Eight damage blocks still. Still have to go through a lot of our cards here. This doesn't really matter if we use it. Put a Morsel Maker back here. We'll feed this guy a bit. Give us extra energy for next round. And then I might as well just use this, I guess. That way we save some of the damage shield. Okay. I could put a sweeper in here. Let's get rid of this. This unit's probably gonna die. I want these morsels to keep pumping, though. Well, they will, actually. Never mind. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no, they will. Let's do this. Anybody low? Nope. Let's go here, because it applies a little bit of extra regen. Okay, now we get a break. Get rid of that one. Buff there. Save our damage block. Eat up, boys. That 10 damage block there. That's insane. Okay. Uh, the morsels won't help me here, really. What's this guy attacking for? Man, I need to somehow kill this. Oh, here. Okay, so that gets rid of his multi-strike, at least. So he's hitting for six. Six times eight is 48. He's going to be at 48. Um, so I think I'm better off going here. And then I might as well just like put these guys in here to get some damage. This should be enough with 12 damage block. <laughs> Jesus, doesn't do anything. My God. That's wild. This is pretty cool. That's all I can do. But that's the play. That's how we, that's how we're going to win. Is uh, just let them not do any damage at all. Okay. Damage shield to one friendly unit. Add three uncommon for four. Trigger feeding on morsel units. Okay. Or grovel again. Is this the one that we have uh, hold over? Yeah. You know what? I think I'm just going to keep the current thing that we have. I'll take another descend. And going into the last thing, we want to spend everything that we can. So I don't want to vortex. I will go pyre health. Let's see if we want to upgrade anything. Plus one, plus 15, plus 40. This makes him take up three slots. 
But 18 sweep is really good against uh, early enemies in the fight. I'm just thinking like, okay, so that's all well and good. But then if we're going to duplicate something, what would that be, you know? Let's look at the trinkets first. Plus three magic power, we're not really going to benefit a lot from. Train steward units, we're not going to benefit from. Enemies getting minus one seems minor. Gorge abilities trigger an additional time. Uh, yeah. And we go units gain an extra upgrade slot for 190. Then we do the upgrade to... I think these guys. Just upgrade this one. And then we'll duplicate it as well. Uh, let's give the extra a sweep here. And we'll give you extra help. Just got to make sure that we duplicate the right one. Yeah. Let's go here. Okay. I think we're in as good a position as we can be. The first spell card played each turn gets consumed. Okay. Okay. That does... Uh, that's right. That does change things a little bit. Like, for example. And example. Oof. This isn't the huge dude. Let's get him in here. This already has consume, so let's see if that messes things up a little bit. Yeah, nice. Okay. So if we start feeding this guy and giving damage block... We'll play Penumbra down here. To give him an extra stack of lifesteal, actually. And we'll do this. He's still going to be at 72. Uh, do I want to play this now? Yes, let's play him. And these are all triggering double now, so... That uh, damage shield is going to go pretty crazy. Get rid of this. Something's going to get consumed. I'm actually okay with it being this uh, razor-sharp edge. I'm fine with that. Go here. He has life steal two, life steal two. I think we'll put them both on this one. I'm just looking. I think we want to wait for either of these ones with a 35 attack. They're coming soon. Yeah, because we're going to be pretty space limited. Oh, let's wait. Let's wait one turn. Get rid of this. So Morsel Maker on that second floor, I think, would be disgusting.
Okay. I can consume this one. That's fine. Get the regen there. The seven damage block. Here's our big boy. Put him up top there. We'll give a damage block on this. I guess maybe I should have just put it there, but... So now, until the boss goes, he's just going to be constantly stacking that. Oh my god, that's gross. Got nine. All of these die. We take 20 on this dude. A sweep here isn't bad, but then I can't feed morsels. I kind of feel like maybe that's a card I shouldn't have invested in. Maybe I will play this down here now. And uh, we're going to get some of the descending things soon. I might even just descend from here, though. Look, 15 damage block there. 15 shield. That's insane. Guess we'll put a Morsel Maker up top. This is another big boy. Oh, it costs three. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Do like so. Now we need some descend cards to pop. We have two of them, don't we? Yeah. There's one, finally. We lost our champion, but it's not the end of the world. I think we'll descend here. This is free. Oh, what did I just get rid of? Did I? I think I screwed that up. Yeah, I cast that when it was the first spell consume or whatever. Oops. My bad. These guys are hitting pretty hard. Let's enhance back here. And then I still get 120 damage. It's a bit scary that our bottom floor has no units right now. Okay, so we're going to use... Regen here. Get rid of this. This guy's got 18 damage block. I think I just go here. Overflow this floor. It's max now. Morsels won't do anything because I can't put them in there. These guys are going to go up. They're going to be frozen. Yeah, I don't see how this does anything. So we'll take a little pyre health or a little pyre damage, but it's not too bad. Okay, final wave. Okay, this this could be really good. Okay, it's gonna be uncommon or rare. Let's do this one first. And then I think we just give him, like, insane damage block, right? 
higher health takes a hit again, but it's okay. Oh, yeah, I just realized, too, we can't even use these things. I guess I could have played it up here. I mean, I feel like in theory that's pretty good. <laughs> I feel like that's pretty strong. Because once we go against this dude, yeah, he's toast and we're not even, we're laughing. All right, we did it. That is a cool, 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 cool faction. The, like, the other guys... <laughs> that's, that's insane. That's insane. 32 damage taken, unfortunately. Yeah. Minus 50%. Ouch. Well, if we were going for a score, we'd, we'd do different things. But I'm just happy to win. First time with that uh, faction. Get a new Covenant rank as well. Sick. This was this was dirty. That artifact was dirty. I'm happy to appease it. Minor bosses have increased attack. Great. So Penumbra's gold. These all look nice. Plus 13 more. Add a morsel minor to your hand. Eaten Eater gets plus five and plus five. Okay. The first time each turn an enemy unit dies, add two morsel units to the hand. That's nice too. Descend friendly and enemy units on this floor. Very cool. Start of a turn, add a common or uncommon morsel. Very cool. Now, my challenge is going to be okay. So, we saw how it works one way with building up that damage block. This is a new one. Sweep with slay. This could get really out of hand. Consume. Draw one. Enhance the drawn card to cost zero. It's not bad. Um, because we got it to work a certain way, like, naturally, the next time I play it, I'm going to want to do that. We're very close to this melting remnant as well. Uh, but, anyways, I'm going to try to at least... Uh, make it so that that's not the case. We'll keep the keep the variety up. I'll probably do the next run primary Umbra again, and then just randomize the uh, the second faction, just so that we can practice with it more. But yeah, man, this is really really cool. I kind of want to just like spam all these and unlock all the cards because it's fun. But I think variety is enjoyable in this game as well. Okay, so here's the challenge if you're interested. It is Klein Stronger Former. K-L-E-I-N. Enjoy. Let me know how you do. You'll probably do much better than me because you probably know what you're doing. But uh, that was fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.